Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mary Gellum, the host of the local television show, Leadership Table Talk, and I'm also the owner of Premier Strategic Solutions, LLC. Did you guys get snow today? Oh my goodness, we've got so much snow here. And uh, so as I was thinking about that, I said, hmm, you know, there is a correlation between snow and goal setting. Can you believe that? There is a correlation between snow and goal setting. And as a leadership guru expert, I've been teaching and my actual television show is Leadership Table Talk. So I'm always looking for those correlations. And so I want to talk with you a little bit about that today. But to do that, I have to go back in history. So I'm going to ask you this question. How many of you remember the television show MASH? The, the, the show MASH, it was about a fictitious army surgical hospital that was located in Weejeonbu, Korea. Weejeonbu, Korea. And uh, the reason I really wanted to talk about that is because I have a connection with Weejeonbu, Korea. You see, uh, after spending almost, what, 30 years in the uh, Air Force, and as a retired Air Force Colonel, I've had many uh, uh, assignments in the Air Force, in the military. And so one of those assignments was in Weejeonbu, Korea. Weejeonbu. And when I arrived, it was like, oh my goodness, I could not believe all these signs and posters that talked about the TV show MASH. Well, when I was assigned to... Um, the uh, military installation there. I was actually assigned to the Army Post, even though I was in the Air Force. And we provided what was called close ear support to our um, brethren there in the Army. And I worked with what's called the Republic of Korea or ROC uh, Air Force also at that time. And in addition to that, I got a chance to go to what's called the, the militarized zone, which lies between uh, North and South Korea. So I had a chance to do that while assigned there in Korea. So you may say, now what does that have to do with snow? Let me tell you. I grew up in um, Eastern North Carolina, and yes, we had snow. Yes, we had snow. But it wasn't until I got assigned to Weejabu, Korea, that I got exposed to what the military called mucklucks and the big Parker jackets and all of that because it was so cold over there. We had a lot of snow. And so in order to survive, you had to have those heavy duty uh, cold weather winter gear and all of that with the boots and the coats and, and everything because it was cold and it did not matter that it was snowing or whatever. If you had to deploy to go somewhere, you still went. You just learned how to survive in the cold. I remember having these head heaters and, and, and all of that kind of stuff, but it was cold over there. And so what I remember about Weejabu, South Korea was the snow and the cold. It, it was beautiful. I enjoyed my tour, but it was cold and snowy over there. And so as a result, as I was thinking and uh, looking outside my uh, windows today here and seeing all that snow, it just brought back all these memories. But then I began to think about how it impacts one, when you're doing goal setting. And, and I recognized four things as I was go, uh, going through and remembering my experience there in uh, South Korea. So I want to take the time to share with you those four ob observations that I made. And so number one, I believe that goal setters who are destined to win or destined to soar they recognize that snow is only temporary. It's not permanent. It's only temporary. So although it might hinder you from getting to your location initially, it doesn't have to stop you. Because if you take the initiative to move that snow out of the way, you can now see a clear path to get to where you want to go. So, Number one, snow is not permanent, but it is temporary. And how does that impact goals? Let's continue with number two.
Because you see, goal setters that are destined to soar, they know how to adjust their clothing. When I was in Korea, if I had not adjusted my clothing and got the appropriate gear, I would not have survived in that cold weather. And so just like it is when you are establishing goals, sometimes you may have to adjust your vision. You may have to adjust the goals and, and, and say, okay, maybe we need to put a more realistic time period here. Maybe we need to adjust the goal altogether to something that is achievable. You know, we often talk about SMART goals, specific, measurable, achievable, time, timely. And you, you, you need to, are, are these realistic goals? Are they realistic? But whatever it is, you may have to make that adjustment. Just like you had to move the snow out of the way to see a clear path, you may have to move out the things that are causing you to not see this, uh, the goal clearly, uh, see the strategy that you need to move forward. So you may have to move some things out of the way so that you can see a little bit clearer what your goal is and how you can get there, your path to accomplishment. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's look at number three. I believe that goal setters are destined to soar. They acknowledge that one cannot use the same strategy that you use before. Because if your technology has changed, your government regulations may have changed, your organizational construct may have changed, the culture in general may have changed, all kinds of things that may impact the way you do business today. So it may mean that you need to make some adjustments here. You, you can't keep operating on the old and expect to see different results. What got you to success in the early 2000s, for example, may not necessarily be the strategy that you need today. So you have to recognize that Again, making that adjustment, clearing that path, clearing out that snow path, that foggy path, so that you can see clearly, so that you can see clearly. And so let's look at the final observation that I made, and that is this. Goal setters destined to soar, they know how to celebrate what I call those small wins. You learn how to celebrate the small wins because you don't get crippled with goal setting fatigue or goal setting disappointment. Because a lot of times when you set a goal and you don't accomplish it, for example, wait, I, I want to lose 20 pounds and then I do all of these things and I only lose two. Well, celebrate the small win and then keep working toward the larger win. Celebrate the small win and then work toward the larger win. Because you see, what I call goal setters who are destined to soar, they don't give up. They don't give up because they know in order to make it, you have to pick yourself up so that you can fly with eagles. You can fly with eagles. Don't give up, but pick yourself up and continue to soar. Continue to soar with the eagle. I hope that you've gotten something out of this. And this is Dr. Mary Gillum from M2, uh, from, oh my goodness, I've got so many different websites. I have to remember which one, but I am at Premier Strategic Solutions, LLC. And I'm also the host of the local television show, Leadership Table Talk. So if you'd like to reach out to me, please, by all means. You can contact me at PremierStrategicSolutions.com. Again, that is PremierStrategicSolutions.com. 
I would love to work with you, work with your people, and maybe encourage you to set that goal, stick to that goal, and achieve it. Again, this is Dr. Mary Gellum. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye for today.